People along the frontier spent a lot of their time devoted to growing, gathering, and hunting things to eat. They had to. There were no supermarkets, few restaurants, and except in winter, no ability to preserve food by refrigeration. People's diets changed according to what was in season. Cooking was done on an open hearth or in a large kettle. We have only one source of heat, and that's the fire. So in the summertime when we cook, we are so hot. We are on that side of the cabin. In the wintertime, it is so cold. We are all over there where the fire is. We have no refrigeration other than our spring house. If we have a spring house, we don't have one here, but we have a creek, and so we can put things in the creek. We can fish down there as well. The colonists grew a variety of vegetables, which could be eaten immediately or preserved through methods like pickling and canning. The Indians introduced the colonists to corn, which became a staple of their diet. And corn is what gave you your dried corn and your cornmeal during the winter time and gave you your bread. Wheat did not grow well in this area, so corn was the main crop. To get ready for winter, people along the frontier would dry fruit and smoke meat. Colonial people ate lots of game, including birds, bear, squirrel, deer, and rabbit. And because we cook seasonally, Right now, with the uh, harvest from the garden, we have a feast, a harvest, of uh, a bounty of our harvest. But come January and February, when we're looking at our stores and we're taking inventory, particularly in January, to see if we have enough until spring comes again, our meals are quite different. Mostly stews. Hopefully we've gotten deer meat or bear meat. Uh, we have, from the garden, any root vegetables. We have greens. Um, we have things that we have preserved by salted by pickling, by drying. Children seem to think that they just came in and ate and went out to play. And when I explained to them what their responsibilities were, getting the water, getting the wood, constantly getting the wood, tending the fire, uh, taking care of the pepper and the salt, pounding it down so that we could use it at the table. These are, these are children's chores. Um, children get a better idea of, of what their life was like. It was not play. It was being a young adult. And for the boys, it was going out to the fields with their fathers. They were farmers. The main meal of the day was called dinner and was served midday. Items on the menu might include stews made of meat and vegetables, game, and porridge or rough bread. Wealthier families might also feature an array of sweets like dried fruit, puddings, or cakes. Supper was usually light and served late and consisted either of leftovers from the main meal or boiled grains such as oats or cornmeal.